Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, education, information, inspiration, guidance, and advice. And I recently did a video with respect to uh, not doing things by rote, not doing mitzvahs by rote, uh, not performing commandments by rote, not serving God by rote, and not praying uh, by rote, you know, just doing it because you're doing it. And I am reminded of uh, a quick little uh, snippet from uh, the holy Le uh, Rabbi Levi Yitzhak of Berdyshev. And in his shul, uh, there was a chazan, and um, his voice grew a little hoarse. And it was uh, a little rough going in the throat. It's, um, it, was, it was getting to be pronounced. And um, Rabbi Lev Yitzhak, um asked him, How come? Why is it that your voice grows hoarse? How come you're hoarse? And the cousin says, Well, because I was davening, I was praying at the Ahmed, I was praying uh, at the pulpit, I was playing, I'm praying before the, uh, the Aaron Kaddish. Rabbi Lev, uh, Rabbi Lev Yitzhak said, Quite right. Quite right. If one prays before the pulpit, if one prays at the bima, if, you know, your voice will grow hoarse eventually. But if one prays before the living God, then one does not grow hoarse. If you do things with kavana, with, with the proper, uh, the requisite spiritual intent, if you, even in, in his bodhus, um, I know um, guys who go out into the woods, go out into the fields, and they will pray and talk to God for hours. <laughs> I mean, I was with a few of them, and sometimes it gets loud. Um, they're pouring out their souls, they're pouring out their hearts, they're pleading and they're 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 praising Hashem and, and uh, begging Hashem and, and glorifying Hashem. And um, they're doing it with such kavana that um, I don't think any of them uh, ever even noticed. If they did go hoarse, I'm sure none of them noticed. Um, because they were doing it from the very depths, from every cell, from every atom in their being. Um, they were doing it with love and devotion uh, to God. So when we pray, whether it's standard prayer, set prayer uh, from your sitter, uh, from your prayer book, uh, or whether you're talking to God the way you talk to a close and trusted personal friend, Let's not be like the chazan, the, uh, the, the, the cantor uh, at, um, at uh, Rabbi Levi uh, shul. Um, you're not praying before the pulpit. You're praying before the living God. And when you do that, you're not going to go hoarse because you're connected with that holiness and that spark of Hashem in you. That's not just the spark from Hashem from the Creator. It's a spark of that Creator. And when you pray, when you perform a commandment, when you do your obligations as a person who serves God, that spark glows so brightly. And that's a connection uh, with God. That's a connection with the Creator. Uh, do it with meaning. Don't do it by rote. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope they're of some use to you. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.